The American Institute of Physics (AIP) instituted their Science Writing Award to promote effective science communication in print and broadcast media in order to improve the general public's appreciation of physics, astronomy, and allied science fields. The winner receives $3,000 and an engraved Windsor chair. The awards is given in three broad categories, 1 science writing, 2 work intended for children, and 3 work done in new media. The AIP stopped issuing awards to three categories, 1 work by a professional journalist last awarded in 2011, 2 work by a scientist last awarded in 2009, and 3 broadcast media last awarded in 2009. Notable winners of this Science Writing Award include Nobel Prize winners Charles Townes and Steven Weinberg. Other notables winners include Simon Singh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Lawrence Krauss, John Wheeler, Kip Thorne, Leonard Suskind, Clifford Martinwell, Abraham Pais, Heinz Pagels, Banish Hoffman, and Martin Gardner. Winners, New Media 2012, Anna Rothschild for Nova, The Amazing Atomic Clock. Topic Past winners, Journalist 2011, George Musser for Scientific American Magazine, Could Time End, 2010, Tom Zollner for Penguin Group, Uranium, War, Energy, and The Rock That Shaped the World, 2008, Anne Finkbeiner for Viking, Penguin, The Jasons, 2007, Tim Folger, Discover Magazine, If an Electron Can Be in Two Places at Once, Why Can't You, 2006, Barbara Gold Goldsmith for W. W. Norton and Atlas Books, Obsessive Genius 2005, Michael Moyer for Popular Science, Journey to the Tenth Dimension 2004, J. Madeleine Nash for Warner Books, El Niño, Unlocking the Secrets of the Master Weather Maker 2003, Diane Tennant for The Virginian Pilot, A Cosmic Tale 2002, No Award Given 2001, Marcia Bartusiak for Joseph Henry Henry Press, Einstein's Unfinished Symphony 2000, Ron Cowan for USA Today, Quantum Leap in Research Draws Cosmic Insight Closer, Science News, Travel and Light, The Washington Post Now Hear This, 1999, Michael Lemonick, Other Worlds, The Search for Life in the Universe, Simon & Schuster 1998, Robin Shuriano and Todd Halverson for Florida Today, Cassini, Debating the Risks 1997, Hazel Muir for New Scientist magazine Watch Out, Here Comes the Sun and A Fast Rain's Going to Fall 1996, K.C. Cole for the Los Angeles Times, three newspaper articles 1995, Gary Taubers for Discover Magazine, Welcome to Femtoland 1994, Dick Terracy for Omni Magazine, The Last Great Experiment of the Twentieth Century 1993, Billy Goodman for Air and Space Magazine, The Planet Hunters 1992, Dennis Overby for Harper Collins Publishers, Lonely Hearts of the Cosmos 1991, Charles Petty for Mosaic Magazine, Vanishingly Close to Absolute Zero 1990, Jerry Bishop for The Wall Street Journal, Cold Fusion 1989, Timothy Ferris for William & Morrow Inc., Coming of Age in the Milky Way 1988, Richard Preston for The Atlantic Monthly Press, First Light 1987, Shannon Brownlee and Alan Chen for Discover Magazine, Waiting for the Big One 1986, Arthur Arthur Fisher for Mosaic, Chaos, The Ultimate Asymmetry 1985, Ben Patrusky for World Book Yearbook, The Wandering Continents 1984, John Tierney for Discover Magazine, Perpetual Commotion 1983, Martin Gardner for Discover Magazine, Quantum Weirdness 1982, Marcia F. Bartusiak for Discover Magazine, The Ultimate Timepiece 1981, Leo Janus for Science 80 Magazine 
magazine, Timekeepers of the Solar System 1980, Dennis Overby for Omni Magazine, The Wizard of Time and Space 1979, Robert C. Cowan for the Christian Science Monitor, The New Astronomy 1978, Timothy Ferris for The Red Limit, The Search for the Edge of the Universe 1977, William D. Metz for Science Magazine, Fusion Research 1976, Frederick Golden for Time Magazine, Forecast, Earthquake 1975, Tom Alexander for Fortune Magazine, Ominous Changes in the World's Weather 1974, Patrick Young for The National Observer, A Quake is Due at 1973, Edward Edelson for The New York News, The Mystery of Space 1972, Jerry E. Bishop for The Wall Street Journal, Celestial Clue 1971, Kenneth Weaver for National Geographic, Voyage to the Planets 1970, C.P. Gilmore for Popular Science, Can We Stop Earthquakes From Happening 1969, Walter S. Sullivan for The New York Times, Flight of Apollo 8 1968, William J. Perkinson for The Baltimore Sun, ABM Primer, Physics for Defense Topic past winners, Scientist 2011, Dan Falk Scientific Magazine Could Time End? 2009 Dan Falk Cosmos Magazine End of Days, A Universe in Ruins 2008 Gino Segre Viking, Penguin Faust in Copenhagen 2007 James Trevel Astronomy Magazine Where is the Universe Heading? 2006, Simon Singh Harper Collins Big Bang 2005, Neil deGrasse Tyson Natural History Magazine in the Beginning 2004, Len Fisher Arcade Publishing, Inc. How to Dunk a Donut, The Science of Everyday Life www.lenfisher.co.uk2003, Ray Jayawardana Astronomy Magazine Beyond Black 2002, Lawrence Krauss Little, Brown & Co. Atom, An Odyssey from the Big Bang to Life on Earth, Dot & Beyond Honorable Mention, Ken Crosswell The Free Press The Universe at Midnight 2001, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Charles Liu, and Robert Irian Joseph Henry Press One Universe 2000, Charles H. Towns Oxford University Press How the Laser Happened 1999, John Wheeler and Kenneth Ford, W.W. Norton, Geons, Black Holes and Quantum Foam 1998, Leonard Suskind, Scientific American, Black Holes and the Information Paradox 1997, Award Postponed Until 1998-1996, Mitchell Begelman and Martin Rees W. H. Freeman and Co. Gravity's Fatal Attraction, Black Holes in the Universe 1995, Eric Chasen HarperCollins Publishing The Hubble Wars 1994, Kip S. Thorne W. W. Norton & Company Black Holes and Time Warps, Einstein's Outrageous Legacy 1993, Hans C. von Berea Random House Taming the Atom 1992, David C. Cassidy W. H. Freeman & Co. Uncertainty, The Life and Science of Werner Heisenberg 1991, Harold Lewis W. W. Norton & Co. Technological Risk 1990, Bruce Murray W. W. Norton & Co. Journey into Space 1989, Mark Lippmann John Wiley & Sons Planets Beyond, Discovering the Outer Solar System 1988, Michael Riordan Simon & Schuster The Hunting of the Quark 1987, Clifford Martin Will Basic Books Was Einstein Right? 1986, Donald Goldsmith Walker & Company Nemesis, The Death Star 1985, Edwin C. Krupp Macmillan Publishing Company The Comet and U 1984, George Greenstein Freundlich Books Frozen Star 1983, Abraham Pais Oxford University Press Subtle is the Lord 
The Science and the Life of Albert Einstein 1982, Heinz Pagel's Simon and Schuster The Cosmic Code, Quantum Physics as the Language of Nature 1981, Eric Chasen Little, Brown and Company Cosmic Dawn 1980, William J. Kaufman, 3, W. H. Freeman and Company Black Holes and Warped Spacetime 1979, Hans C. von Berer Alumni Gazette, College of William and Mary The Wonder of Gravity 1978, Edwin C. Krupp Doubleday and Company in Search of Ancient Astronomies 1977, Stephen Weinberg Basic Books, Inc. The First Three Minutes 1976, Jeremy Bernstein The New Yorker Physicist, I.I. Rabi 1975, Robert H. March Science Year The Quandary Over Quarks 1974, Robert D. Chapman NASA, Goddard Space Flight Center Comet Kohutek 1973, Banish Hoffman Viking Press Albert Einstein, Creator and Rebel 1972, Dietrich Schroer Addison Wesley Physics and Its Fifth Dimension, Society 1971, Robert H. March McGraw Hill Book Co., Inc. Physics for Poets 1970, Jeremy Bernstein written for Atomic Energy Commission The Elusive Neutrino 1969, Kip S. Thorne Science Year The Death of a Star Topic past winners: Children's 2011, Vicky Wittenstein, Boyd's Mills Press, Planet Hunter, Jeff Marcy and the Search for Other Earths, 2010, Gillian Richardson, Anik Press Limited, Kaboom, Explosions of All Kinds, 2009, Cora Lee and Gillian O'Reilly, Anik Press, The Great Number Rumble, A Story of Math in Surprising Places, 2008. Alexandra Siy and Dennis Kunkel Charlesbridge Sneeze, 2007, Jacob Berkowitz Kids Can Press Jurassic Poop 2006, David Garrison, Shannon Hunt and Jude Isabella Kids Can Press Fantastic Feats and Failures 2005, BUUSMA Shifet Chronicle Books The Man Who Went to the Far Side of the Moon 2004, Marianne Dyson National Geographic Home on the Moon Living in the Space Frontier 2003, Ron Miller 21st Century Books, a division of the Millbrook Press World's Beyond series, Extrasolar Planets, The Sun, Jupiter, and Venus 2002, Fred Bortz The Millbrook Press Techno Matter, The Materials Behind the Marvels 2001, Cynthia Pratt Nicholson Kids Can Press Exploring Space 2000, Jill Frankel Hauser Williamson Publishing Science Play Gizmos and Gadgets 1999, Elaine Scott Hyperion Books for Children Close Encounters 1998, Barbara Taylor Henry Holt and Company Earth Explained 1997, Donald Silver Silver Bird at Press Extinction is Forever 1996, Steve Tomchek W. H. Freeman and Company Bouncing and Bending Light 1995, Sally Ride and Tam O'Shaughnessy Crown Publishers, Inc. The Third Planet, Exploring the Earth from Space 1994, Wendy Baker, Andrew Haslam, and Alexandra Parsons Macmillan Make It Work, 1993, Gail Gibbons Holiday House Stargazers 1992, Gloria Skorshinsky Bradbury Press Almost the Real Thing 1991, Richard Maurer Simon and Schuster Inc. Airborne 1990, David McCauley Horton Mifflin Company The Way Things Work 1989, Gail K. Haynes Putnam & Grosset Micromysteries 1988, Susan Kovacs Buxbaum, Rita Golden Graham, and Mary Ann Cocker Leffler Basic Book Splash. All About Baths <laughs> Past winner, broadcast media 2009, Tom Schachtman and David Dugan Windfall Films in collaboration with Meridian Productions and broadcast on WGBH, Nova in association with TPT, Twin Cities Public Television. Absolute Zero 2008, Julia Court WGBH, Nova Science and Asteroid 
2007, Jim Handman, Pat Sensen, and Bob McDonald. CBC Radio. Multiple Worlds, Parallel Universes. 2006, David Kestenbaum. National Public Radio. Einstein's Miraculous Year, How Smart Was Einstein? 2005, John Paul Freeman. WNET New York. Innovation, Light Speed. 2004, William S. Hammock Public Radio Pieces Will AM Radio 2003, Jim Handman, Pat Sensen, and Bob McDonald CBC Radio It's About Time 2002, David Kestenbaum National Public Radio Measuring Muons Relmedia File 2001, John Paul Freeman WGBH Frontline, Nova What's Up With The Weather, 2000, Craig Heaps KTVU TV Time and Space Space Weather 1999, Dan Falk CBC Radio From Empedocles to Einstein 1998, Sandy Rathbun and Dave Greenleaf KVOA TV Asteroid, The Real Story